was AVN Award. You're probably not old enough to remember Jonathan Morgan on that night with his booyah stuff when he won an award. He was just drunk as hell when he got up there to accept it. But that night, we were there filming. It was our first thing we were going to film for the documentary, AVN in general and the awards. And we were there after everyone was gone and we were wrapping up. This is such an, I haven't told this story in like 20 years. It's such a bizarre story, but such a sort of a story that tells you so much about adult and how it affects people, like their limbic brain, their reptile brain, how how completely primal it affects them. We're standing there, and maybe I was interviewing Jonathan, and there was a security guard or somebody cleaning up tables, and he was picking up chairs and hurling them into the wall as hard as he could. And I thought, it's a little aggressive. And I have my camera because I was a shooter. So mm-hmm. I have my big beta cam on my shoulder and I'm looking through the viewfinder. I have this eye closed. And uh, that night, I remember Shishi LaRue had had a bunch of boys on their, he'd brought them on like dogs on their hands and knees with collars on, on stage. That was the, the, um, that was the impetus of why this guy was freaking out. He's probably repressed homosexual, but whatever. Not, I don't know that. Anyway, he he was throwing this stuff around, and he went to walk past me, and I I could just see how agitated he was. And I turned and I said, "Hey, what's going on? How are you?" And he just turned and looked at me, and he said, "Time for you to to leave." He was a he was a naval guy too. He was a Navy officer, and he punched me punched me so hard, but I didn't see it coming because this side, I was looking at him through my camera and I had my eye closed, punched me so hard, but I was so loose that nothing happened. I just, my camera kind of fell off, it was on my hand, but kind of hanging Mm -hmm. and knocked me into somebody. And then he ran. Ultimately, you know, shit would happen around that. But it was that he was so upset by what he had seen that night that he punched a woman Wow. I was probably in my 30s at that time. Wow. 35. Punched a woman. Just, was just standing there full on. Didn't slap me. Punched me. Because it it just motivated him so deeply and he was so angry about what he had seen. Which you can look around today and it's all over the place, yeah. right? It's the bro culture. Yeah. It just ang something about it, something about women, something about comfortable sexuality just as opposed to submissive sexuality, just upsets. And why wouldn't it? We've had 150,000 years since we dropped out of the trees and there was a status quo. And boy, did it change like maybe 40 years ago. Yeah. And that you can't change people that fast. You yeah. just can't. They're just lost. White guys are just, I feel sorry for them. I talk about this all the time. I feel bad for white guys. I mean, their whole raison de tetra, their whole reason for existence has just changed. They're now not expected to be the providers because their wives probably make more money than they make. They have to give their wives an orgasm. She's not going to fake it anymore because she doesn't need to because she could go live on her own now. And I also think that like the, you know, and like jobs have become such an issue too, you know, like before you used to be able to just get out of high school, you didn't have to go to college, you get a good paying job that you could afford home for your family, you get a pension that would take care of you after you retired. Like, you could you could make a life for yourself and that like doesn't exist anymore it's the decimation of the middle class you know that's whatever it is three people the three three wealthiest people in the country have more wealth than six, than the lower 60% of this country so that's a whole other topic 